Make no mistake, um, writing a good email is, is a skill. It's a craft. It's not an SMS message. It's a letter. It's not just a message. It's projecting your professional ability. It's, profes it's uh, projecting your ability to focus on what is important. Um, and it can strengthen relationships. Of all the forms of communication we use with clients, email is probably the most common, yet often underrated form. When I talk about projecting a professional image, it shows attention to detail, right from the subject line all the way down to your signature at the end, making sure that everything in that email is relevant, that it's connected, and it fits together nicely. If you can structure an email um, that is clear, I can also look at this email as showing me that in your professional life, you pay attention to detail, that you're structured and that you're clear. One issue that we come across regularly is an inconsistency in the message, a lack of thought. Often in the middle of the email somewhere, we have a key message, but it's lost amongst irrelevant words and words that just don't fit uh, the message. As an example, uh, working with a medical company, and as a standard introduction to their emails, they begin with greetings from, and then the company name, hope you are well. Well, this is excellent in terms of a warm greeting to a, a regular client. However, they also use this for um, demanding payment of bills, reminding people that their payment is late, and worst case scenario, threatening legal action, or at the very least, um, cutting off the medical service. There's no consistency there. It shows that the person isn't paying attention to the complete message in the email. At the end of their emails as well, a common way to finish would be looking forward to seeing you soon. Well, for a medical company that you only deal with when you're sick, this is not the right message. A message of being there if needed, uh, a message of being ready to answer any questions, perfect. But the idea that you may not be sick now, but we hope you'll be sick in the future so we can make money from you is not the message to send a client. Um, as uh, another example, um, often in sales uh, emails, emails where you're promoting things to existing clients, um, there's a very standard way of beginning the email and this would be, dear valued customer. If there is any better way of showing that someone is not a valued customer, it's to begin your email with dear valued customer. This basically translates to, here is an email that I'm sending to every single one of our clients, the wording is the same, you're not special at all, you're just a number to us. Just the difference of using their actual name instead of dear valued customer is immeasurable. It becomes a personalized message. When you write an email, don't underestimate its value. It's not an SMS message. When you're putting an email together, plan from the very beginning to the very end. What do I want to achieve? What's my key message? How will this impact the client? How will it make them feel? The easiest way to do this is to imagine how you would feel if you received the same email. Make sure that the greeting fits the rest of the tone of the email. And make sure that the end of the email is accurate. If it's a friendly email, the ending is friendly. But if it is a serious email and you're dealing with problems and complaints, then make sure the email matches. Finally, possibly most importantly, don't let the client guess. Don't hope that they will guess what it is you want. Make it really clear. We often come across people saying, I write emails, I don't get replies. Well, our question is, did you ask for a reply? And very often, they don't. It's just a hoping to hear from you soon, look forward to hearing from you, or if I can be of any help in the future. If you need a reply, mention that at the bottom of the email. Either, please reply by such and such a date, or I look forward to your reply by this date. Don't hope that they can read your mind. Make them read your words. If you want a reply, tell them.